Several days of rain is apparently too mm. much for this hillside in Latuna Canyon. This is video from Drone Force 9 just a short time ago of a crater that could get worse. KCAL 9's Lisa Siegel is there. Lisa? Lena, here on Latuna Canyon Road, it is still raining and there is a lot of concern. Now, behind me, this area is completely off limits. Luckily, no homes were around during this collapse. From Drone Force 9, you can see the dramatic collapse of this hillside in a mandatory evacuation area. The hill on the 8300 block of Latuna Canyon Road in the Sun Valley area gave way during intense rains. The chunk, 30 feet wide and 50 feet deep this morning, had quadrupled by mid afternoon. Earth continues to move as the rain continues to come down. Authorities say water naturally drains here from the hillsides and flows under Latuna Canyon Road. With debris blocking the drain, the concern is water could build up. And compromise the road, causing a sinkhole or collapse. Engineers can't even inspect until the rain stops. And the powerful rain has been coming down at a steady pace. Fears of what could happen prompted LAUSD to move students from Vinedale Elementary to nearby Glenwood Elementary. Well, I think that it's um, that they're protecting us, so that's I feel very calm now, and I feel protected, and I feel very so like we could come to school calmly and stuff. Here in the area that's been evacuated, you can see why there's so much concern. You can see the rain and mud and debris coming down. That's why crews are out here trying to clean it up as fast as they can. Giuseppe and Carolina Gentile live further down the Tuna Canyon Road. They say they feel safer this time around than they did in January when mud covered their road. Hopefully it just stays the same way and everything's fine. Yeah, and if not, they'll deal with it. They've been on it. The city's been really good about getting the, all the mud and the dirt up. And back to the collapse, they will be watching it all night long. Right now, they can't predict what will happen next. And the road leading up to this area is closed off. Again, right now, they don't know how bad the situation is until the rain stops. And luckily, there are no homes in this area. And that is a good thing. But as I said, they just can't predict what will happen until all of these showers just completely end. Back to you. All right, Lisa, thank you.